rivalry goes all the way back to like season one, season two, through many different rosters, it's, it's just stick there, that rivalry. Link is out from the mid lane and they brought in Poe Belter. He's the player that gives me the hardest challenge out of anyone. Whoa, wow, wait a minute. That was amazing prediction. I Poe Belter. Cause I can see a lot of back and forth. Probably gonna be a kill or two in there somewhere. Erickson, just ridiculous outplay on Poe Belter there. Poe Belter has so much to prove. I think beating TSM is like the first step in him solidifying himself as like one of the top carry mid laners in this region. Welcome back everyone to our continuing coverage of the North American LCS. We're just minutes away from the game of the week, CLG versus TSM. But first, we're going to check on the conversation going on over on Twitter. We asked you earlier, what nickname do you give the rivalry showdown between CLG and TSM? Now, there were a ton of fun options to choose from, but we narrowed it down to these four. At Cyclo says, the Big Bang rivalry, because it's always explosive. Following, Torang Wildheart says, there is only one way to refer to TSM versus CLG deathmatch, free fantasy points for all, AKA free SM versus free LG. Next, we have at Jack Renati, who is suggesting the rivalry between CLG and TSM should be called the Salt Wars. And speaking of Salt Wars, you don't have to wonder who is the next fan, or who this next fan, rather, is rooting for. At Z Cudlow writes, I call it the Trash Clash. Hashtag C9Win. It sounds like just how you could describe the entirety of the European LCS. I mean, why limit a few teams here? Oh, <laughs> there it is. The gauntlet has been thrown. If you want to share your thoughts on the subject, tweet us at Lollisports and use the hashtag LCS. I don't, I don't know now if we as... could do that for a little while. <laughs> I mean, MSI, man. I don't know we got we some get, time. We, we got some time. That's the best of one to figure out. All right. Well, now, <laughs> as, back, guys, back to the back to the, the, the matter at hand. As we turn our attention to the game of the week, we're going to send it over to Kobe for a word with TSM's analyst. <laughs> Thank you, Dash. Yes, I am here with Parth, the analyst for TSM, and now you've become a permanent fixture for TSM. Would you like to introduce yourself uh, to all the lovely TSM fans? Sure. Hi, uh, I'm Parth. I work with TSM for the Spring Plit, and they brought me in. I should be staying at the house through Worlds. Congratulations on your new position. Now, uh, working for TSM, um, TSM, historically, they've had a problem, you know, adapting to new play styles, as we saw at MSI. Um, what do you do as an analyst to empower the team to try and deal with these situations? Sure. So there are a lot of things you need to adapt to. Um, so you have the regional meta, uh, and each team plays a different style. So while we're practicing week to week, we also have to keep in track of making sure we can take the games and also making sure that overall we're keeping up with the meta in other regions, too. All right, well, as far as the opponent, the opponent in front of you right now, CLG, what do you think is CLG's greatest strength right now? Uh, uh, I think CLG bringing Poe Belter in actually makes them a really strong team. I think when a new player is introduced to the team, all the other players get super excited, super hyped, and you're seeing that in the first two weeks, and I definitely think that they're going to make a strong showing this split, regardless of what happens today. All right, well, good luck to you guys trying to control that mid lane then. Let's get right into the game. First, though, we're going to send it back to the desk. Thank you, Kobe. Now let's get down to the main event, Counter Logic Gaming versus Team Solo Mid. Man, and every time these two teams clashed during the spring split, it was always when they were both at their peak. It was like, oh, CLG's on the rise. They're going up. They have these rotational plays that everybody's talking about. TSM looks good. And then when they clashed, CLG would lose. And when CLG would lose after their golden age, it was always, they wouldn't even recover from the TSM. They would lose trust in each other and it would be this big like speed bump, but that would just crush them for a while. And then when they come back and it was like, oh my God, here comes IAM Katowice, they look so good. They were always in the conversation for number one, then they lose to TSM and then they don't recover until now. And yep. that's a big thing because if they want to be able to go through TSM today, a lot of it's going to be Poe Belter in the mid lane. They have this new guy in the mid lane, and we just heard Parth talking about it. He's bringing a new energy to the team. Everybody is just excited to work with him. The trust is high, and they're in that honeymoon phase. Is this where CLG breaks through the ceiling that is TSM? Well, and if you look at the history of this matchup, TSM is starting to squeak out a lead. TSM are ahead 10 to 8 in the regular season when this matchup occurs. That lead grows to 14 and 9 when we throw in playoff games as well. Yeah, and honestly, you have to consider that TSM are definitely uh, very strong, and, and especially with their mid lane focus. Like, we talk about how CLG keeps losing trust, but they keep losing trust to the mid laners. Which team does a better job at punishing mid laners? 
TSM. It, I think TSM now stands for Team Several Mid because they're pretty much 3 v one that lane at most times. And <clears throat> Bjergsen getting ahead, I mean, he pretty much single-handedly won the game against Impulse once he got that early lead. And this, to me, means I need to look at Smithy because we kind of know what Santorin's going to be up to. He's going to show up in the mid lane. He'll probably ward for Bjergsen and whatnot. And Smithy can do that as well. Like, Half of Smithy's work is already cut out for him. Great, I can just ward the jungle and put up some wards for Pobo Alter, and these ganks can all be stopped. Or he can choose a different style and be like, Pobo Alter, we trust you to stay safe without any ganks. I'm going to show up on either Zion's lane or Double Lift's lane, and one of those guys are going to be sort of the counterbalance where one of these two powerhouse carries is going to get ahead and win the game for CLG. Yeah, and you were talking about CLG and trust, and that it was usually the mid lane, but that wasn't always the case. Top lane. Now they have Zion Spartan, they have a rock in the top lane. They went through two different top laners at one point to find this guy, and this is an opportunity for both top laners in this matchup. Can Zion juggle being a carry top laner and a shot caller at the same time on this team? And can TSM and Dyrus, can they finally show us, because they talked about it after MSI, they need to put their money where their mouth is, because they were talking about top lane jungle priority strategies. We have yet to see them. Are they going to bring them out here against that carry top lane of Zion? All right, well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's send it over to the caster desk to see how this game plays out. On the way, both teams always bring their A game to this matchup, and Doublelift doesn't expect today to be any different. Always, like, when TSM plays CLG, this is, like, the hype matchup. Both teams always play really, really well. So I don't really expect either team to underperform. I think this will really show, like, who's the better team. Well, we will get to see who is the better team, and we have called in reinforcements for this match. Joining us for a TriCast is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler now. Well, Made it just in time. Great interview, by the way, <laughs> on the day. Let's check out the teams with a quick roster rundown. On the blue side, it's Counter Logic Gaming. That's Zion Spartan in the top lane, Nick Smithy in the jungle, Paul Belter in mid. Your AD carry is Double Lift and Afferman at support. And facing against them, of course, is Team Solo Mid. Woo! Still got some fans out here. Dyrus in the top lane, Santorin in the jungle, Bjergsen in the mid lane, Wild Turtle on Andy Carey, and Lust Boy on support. That's right. This match, the fans are excited to see. So let's check out how you guys have been voting over on LOLEsports.com. The people think it's 46 to 54 right now. Pretty the game's going to Team Solo Mid. Pretty close right Pretty there. Pretty close indeed. None of those 90 percent that's just going to throw it in someone's face. I love how close these votes are now. Yeah. And I also love how all the new blood on both organizations are really getting into the rivalry. Yeah. Did you vote, I Kobe? I did not vote. I know where you're voting. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, Bold Blurred Lines, the new coach of CLG, labeled their trash can. Yeah. Uh, TSM made a tweet about it. 